everybody back in a QPR shirt to defend it. Albion looking for a quick start here at the Hawthorns on a day where they simply must win. Swift towards the back post, it goes all the way there through it and it's bounced in. There it is. Brandon Thomas Asante will claim the goal. Well, Andy, you said it, deliver it to the back post and it might just work. And it's done exactly that. Swift to Thomas Asante and the Albion striker gets his first baggy goal since Boxing Day. Yeah, you can defend against it from that position and in swinger. If you hit the target in the back stick, even if a player doesn't get a touch on it, Jess, it's always going to go in. It's all about the delivery from there. And he's put it right on the button. Hand side taken by Swift. Gardner Hickman turns away and then plays it down the right. It's a good ball from him. Here's All Brighton. Gets to the byline, pulls it back. Oh, and brilliant. a striker goal. Brilliant. And it's tapped over the line. Brilliant. It's it. It's saved. It's in now. The Jay as well. Albion have a second. Brilliant. Jay will claim it. Absolutely brilliant. Great quick thinking on this near side, the right hand side between John Swift and Taylor Gardner Hickman. Gardner Hickman found All Brighton, whose cross was drilled along the floor and it was swift on the slide to try and get there. Semi Dieng made the save but Shemi Ajayi slid in at the back post. His first shot was saved and then I think it was Shemi Ajayi to tap in the second one over the line after Dieng had just palmed it away. It was indeed Ajayi. Fantastic start. Brilliant start. Force them back to the halfway line. Well in fairness since the second goal's gone in QPR have come on top haven't they? I don't know what's happened. We've stopped doing what we were doing. It's like we've... His chair delivers from deep. Oh, Great ball. ball in towards Lyndon Dykes. And what a header that is. QPR score. Oh, I just said it. And Josh Griffiths is beaten for the first time as a West Bromwich Albion goalkeeper here at the Hawthorns since the middle of February. And QPR have conceded a throw on the left-hand side of the pitch, taken by Connor Townsend into Chalabar. Chalabar and Townsend working well to get away. Chalabar pulls it backwards towards Wallace. Oh, oh it might fall for Townsend! Oh, whose side missed. puts it towards goal, but just wide of the far post. I thought that was in. Well, it was a loose touch in the box from a QPR defender. And Connor Townsend, who's never scored oh. a goal at the Hawthorns, all three of his strikes have come away from B7-1. Oh, was so whiskers close. away there. So, so close. Is Taylor Gardner Hickman out to the left hand side? Townsend, oh. Peters, back to Josh Griffiths. Oh, and it's bobbled off Josh Griffiths' knee. Oh, and it's hit the striker and gone in. What a fluky goal for QPR. It's Chris Martin who runs away celebrating. Peters, without looking, smashes it towards the middle of the goal, which gives the goalkeeper a bit of a problem. QPR capitalised. You've got to credit them for closing it down. Well, Lumbi wins the header. Second but over the again. top by Dazelle. Jamal Lowe runs in behind Connor Townsend. He's got to the ball first. Jamal Lowe into the box, plays a 1-2. Lowe to the byline. Cross comes in, and the header oh, is over the top of the crossbar. Is he at the crossbar? Wow, Taylor Richards, he's just come on. Well, that could have been disastrous, Andy. Well, this would be a much... Better point for Queen's Park Rangers. Oh, it's massive. It's flicked on by Lowe. They might yet have all three. Martin trying to turn away from Shemi Ajayi. Cross comes in. Molumbi can't get there. It's picked up by Taylor Richards inside the box. Richards towards the back post. Out to Dazelle. Oh, and it's just wide again. Whiskers. Whiskers again wide. What are we doing?